Greetings. Prospering dwarf? War can be profitable. If not for the king's taxes, the plague take them. How did you get here? Don't you see? Knights, soldiers, and Skyatel run through the streets, cutting down who they can. I am a traitor to all of them. I see. And all their heads are filled with prophecies, destinies, strange signs, and other nonsense. No one to talk to. Sorry to hear that, but I need to go. Farewell. <laughs> The squirrels and the order. Those dry ones disturb our swamp. Between a rock and a hard place, huh? I had a dream, white-haired one. Your destiny will be fulfilled. I come to tell you. Mistake not the stars with their reflection in a pond's surface. I'll remember that. You here? On an important mission for the king. Praiseworthy. I too wish to offer Faltas my services as an advisor in these difficult times. Sadly, I could not get through burning Vizima. I need to get to the monastery. I have learnt much about a phenomenon of interest to you. The Wild Hunt. Tell me. In folk culture. The king of the Wild Hunt embodies death. He is the one who takes away souls. He is oft considered as the tool of destiny. Destiny? The Wild Hunt is an omen of war and tragedy. It has oft been seen recently near Vizima. Beware. I must go. Farewell. Good to see you. I see war is to your liking, Vitala. I no longer need to hide in the cemetery. It's safer here. I come out at night, find food in the streets. Can't complain. The inhabitants of this home have no objection? They fear me. The little brat comes alone, talks without end. I must go. Farewell. This foreboding will ever linger. We remember what was, to know what will be. Go away! There were monsters in the cellar. I'll die anyway. They'll find me. They'll get me. Calm down. How do we get out? Through the window. 
Thanks. Look into my eyes, Duan, and you will see your death. I see a blind fanatic about to perish. Silence, traitor. You've delivered death too often. Retribution awaits. You might be able to brainwash young elves with your slogans, but they don't impress me, nor did they impress those you murdered. I was wrong about you. You're not worth talking to. You're a blind, rabid dog biting anything that moves. Someone needs to finish you off. Freedom! Attack! Our time is now at them! We couldn't break through. Heavy fighting. Is there a safer way to the monastery? There's another path. Through the sewers. Dangerous. I have a key. Take it. Thank you. You won't... Adzugal! Geralt, there's really a Zeugel down there. I hope it hasn't had time to multiply. I heard of one Zeugel, and from what I know you need two to multiply. Zugels are hermaphrodites. They don't need a mate to make little Zugels. They do it with themselves. That's sick. Unnatural even for monsters. We must slay it.
let you prevail. I know you're an atheist, but I wanted to ask you to pray before you confront Jack de Aldersburg. Siegfried, I'm not a believer. Doesn't that make prayer useless? Faith and lack thereof differ in that faith can work miracles, while its lack can do nothing. Fine. I'll pray. Eternal fire! Lie down, Siegfried. Once again, I'm wounded in the leg before a glorious battle. Geralt, I cannot go on. Ah! Don't move. Foltest's armies will be here any minute. Geralt, go. I shall gather what knights have remained faithful to the Order's tenets. No passage. Grand Master's orders. I'm here on a matter of national importance. Shove off. The Grand Master seeks solitude. Sorry, you give me no choice. Death! 
Behold my people, they feast at my table, find warmth at my fire, and glow with happiness to be separated from the turmoil of war. You're deluded if you think the sight of women and children will make me leave you alone. I do not intend to deceive you. The white frost approaches, a cataclysm that will bury the world beneath snow and ice. Each night, I dream of icy wastelands and the death of the old civilizations. I've heard Ethelina's prophecy. The cataclysm is unavoidable. Kings prefer to wage local wars to expand their influence, while elves have become terrorists fighting for a lost cause. The world needs a savior, a man of the moment, someone to kindle the flame in people's hearts. You, savior of the world. Come, I will show you something. Humans are weak, frail, and inclined toward evil. I shall create a new man, perfect, tempered in the eternal fire. Finished? Because if you are... You doubt me? I do not blame you. I had my doubts too. Yet now, my vision is strong. Behold. The scales will fall from your eyes, and you will understand. Juggler's tricks. I expected more. You think this an illusion? Oh no, Geralt, it's nothing of the sort. Where are we? See for yourself. Follow me. Now that you have seen the ice encased towers of Vizima, do you understand? You're rambling to Aldersburg. What do you want? This is the future. The white frost has destroyed human civilization. This is the end of time. Do we lose heart, surrender? Never. We can yet avoid our fate. Save your rhetoric for the plebs. Understand. The Order and Salamandra acted only to save humanity. Every criminal claims a higher cause. You lack humility. Time for a lesson in some.
Are you all right? You? Here? How? That is the nature of this place. This place or this time? More a vision born in the mind of the Grand Master. Flashes of the future colored by his fears and beliefs. You may encounter strange things, the consequences of your decisions. There's nothing behind us but a blizzard, and nothing beyond it but death. As long as I get the Grand Master at the end. I'll follow, in case you need help. changed a bit, Witcher. Again, you emerge from nowhere to kill humans. What humans? As always, you're perplexing. Behold the remains of humanity. Ape men, wretched creatures worthy of disdain. Some my own great-grandchildren. They're human? The white frost has stripped humanity of its luxurious robes. All that's left are beasts that think only of eating and procreating. They are human no longer. Their base instincts drive them like the lynch mob from which you saved me. I'm grateful. Take my gift. I see you have met our degenerate great-grandchildren. Do you understand now why you cannot oppose my plan? You have yet to say how all this ice justifies your crimes. Only a grand plan pursued without hesitation could save humanity from what I saw in my visions. Trust your daydreams that much? I never asked for these visions, this gift. But you chose how to use it. Many times you insisted special gifts should be used for just causes. I chose the most just of causes, saving millions of lives. And pursued it by ending hundreds of others. How many more do you aim to condemn? You have no notion of the approaching cataclysm. The spirits of those who perished wander here. Tell them they had no right to survive. You killed me, yet I'm happy to see you. There are worse things than dying in battle. I know. I didn't choose a soldierly life to die in bed. Our ties exceed even death. I will fight at your side. 
Draw your sword, things are about to get interesting. finally understand, obstinate witcher? Humanity will perish. The few who remain will become animals. My plan would avoid this. What plan, dammit? The human nations can only survive the cold through a mass exodus south. With you leading them? I'm prepared to do so. I see the future. I command respect. I would rule well. Of course, I had to get rid of any standing in the way, especially non-humans. Why so obsessed about other races? Geralt, they are condemned to perish. I gave them a chance to die in battle. Humanity's also a passing phase. But unlike elves, we won't leave much behind. We won't disappear, not with the guardians I created. You'll see soon enough how well they manage in these conditions. have stopped the Grandmaster's madness, but you insisted on stopping us. You resorted to murder and terrorism. That's no alternative. Yet we were right. Behold, humans are naught but bloodthirsty apes. That is plainly visible here. You blindly followed the Order's lead and now brandish your sword against them, like a dog biting the hand that feeds it. But that is what you are. No wolf but a rabid dog, a mindless killing machine. Nobody. Enough, Yaven. Now I shall kill you like the dog you are. Shani. How stubborn you are. I could use you to shepherd my sheep during the first years of winter. I doubt you mean it. You stole our secrets from Kaer Morin, used them for the worst ends. Your guild's tenets proved a failure. Too much individualism. 
I needed holy knights as able as witches, evoking an image of nobility, not a hand stretched out for coin. Bullshit. You wanted power. If you say so. When my troops arrive, ask what they think of me as their master. Look, Geralt. Humans, monsters. Easy to mistake one for the other. True, Your Highness. I should know, wouldn't you say? The Grand Master is clearly a madman. Even I wouldn't dare pursue a plan like his. We must stop him. Milady, your wish is my command. You have class, a rare quality. I wish to fight alongside you. Call it a whim. None can enter the heart of the vision besides you. The Grand Master won't allow it. Very well. Thank you. Be safe. Do you see the need to act, whatever the price? Geralt, open your eyes, open your mind. They treat people like you at St. Lebiota's hospital. By pursuing me, you proved me right. You faced the dangers that humanity faces and survived. Jacques de Aldersburg, your dream is over. Patience. You may yet change your mind. Imagine thousands traversing an icy wasteland. Could you defend them? You and a handful of witches ridden with doubt, like Berengar? Impossible. Only the greater brothers can do that. But they need to be taught and led. They need you. I also have an offer. Surrender. Withdraw your mutants. Humble yourself before the king. You'll save many lives. How confident you seem. A painful lesson awaits.
fulfilled your destiny. Salamandra is dying, soon to be a memory. Salamandra means nothing. It was but a particle of chaos, the tool of the madman you just slew. Your past, your destiny, the reasons for your resurrection, all remain unknown. Words, words, words. You've always used them ably to mask uncertainty and fear. I once promised I would follow you. Gibberish, Spectre. Tell me what you want or disappear. Reflect on your deeds, Witcher. I stood near you when you arrived at Kermoran, an omen of its downfall. I observed as you judged the villagers of the outskirts, leaving only blood and fire behind you. You brought death upon Raymond, endangered Shani, mindful only of your goals. Chaos followed in your wake. You slaughtered dozens with your witch's sword. You helped create the foundations for the Order's fanatical reign. You left Vizima in chaos, only to bring destruction upon murky waters. Every one of your decisions brought further devastation. Each choice you made led to greater evil. The Order to which you handed power aims to eradicate all who are not entirely human. What say you to that, mutant? Stop. Do not deny it, Witcher. You are my greatest champion, a perfect means of destruction. Wherever you walk, death and chaos follow. Now, as it was years ago, accept it. Do not fight it. Give up to me yet another man you destroyed. Jacques de Aldersberg is mine. You dare to oppose me? I sense your weakness as your life seeps from your wounds. With every drop, death draws nearer. You stand no chance against me. Yield to me. Never. This is between him and me. You aim to kill him anyway. True, but for my reasons, and they are nothing to you. Clear off while you can. Go before it's too late. You want to fight me? So be it. Your flight from death ends here. Draw your sword. I was afraid you'd suggest chess. That sword is for monsters.
You're awake, Gerald. I was getting worried. Dandelion? Where's the Grand Master? A few steps away. He's dead. For a minute there, I thought you were gone too. Hardly a pleasant nap. Was I out long? Well, you missed a few things. The Rebellion's been quelled and Foltest has regained control of the city, with assistance from the Order. How's Siegfried? He was here a second ago, keeping an eye on you until I arrived. Then duty called. I wonder how he'll manage his Grand Master. Well, I hope. What about you? Did you succeed? Yes. I'll take the final element from Jacques and close this chapter. So, did you recover everything? Know what I found on the Grand Master? A Dimeridium pendant. The one you gave Alvin? I don't know. It looks the same, but older. He must have worn it under his armor for years. A true keepsake, perhaps. Maybe it was his way of repelling hostile magic. Or it was there to control inborn abilities, unrelenting visions. That's something we'll never know. It doesn't matter. Jacques de Aldersburg, if that was his name, is dead. End of story. What's next, Geralt? What do you mean? Come now. You've recovered what was stolen, punished those who hurt you, you played politics and dismantled conspiracies. You've loved, you've killed, you've come a long way, Geralt. What do you intend to do now? I'm tired, Dandelion. I want peace and quiet. As I thought. I've known you for years and never seen such fatigue in your eyes. People expected too much of you. Yet, as always, you rose to the challenge, no matter how unreasonable it seemed. Don't get me wrong. I'm overjoyed to be able to talk to you again. But perhaps you should have stayed there, on the Isle of Avalok. Seems I'll never find rest. What can I say? Godspeed on your path, Witcher. Jacques de Aldersburg's funeral drew masses. All wished to bid farewell to the man who had saved Vizima. The bloody street fighting ended. People saw the knights as heroes. Non-humans faced greater hatred than they did before the rebellion. The king's edicts punishing the Scoia'tael caused a mass exodus of elves and dwarves. History can at times be cruel. The king turned a blind eye to the iniquities of the Order of the Flaming Rose. The new Grand Master, Siegfried of Donnell, reformed the Order, consolidated its power. The sorceresses failed to consolidate theirs at the court of King Foltest. The king punished or exiled those who had plotted against him in his absence. New fortunes were made amidst the ruins. Some won, others lost. The natural order of things. Few knew what had really happened in those days in Vizima. They were those who destiny had brought together with Geralt of Rivia. Yet they chose to remain silent. What then happened to the Witcher? That is a different tale entirely. Temeria and Redania are allies, thanks in no small part to you. For your toil, a worthy pouch of gold. Your Highness. Master. Farewell, sire.